Okay, guys, so welcome back to another video. Um, I'm still on vacation. It's currently August 11th, which is a Thursday. And we saw this morning the PPI release. So yesterday we had the CPI release. Today we have the PPI. These are inflation data that the Fed uses to determine its economic policy, where they're going to go with rates, how hawkish or how dovish they will get. What we want to see are numbers for inflation coming down. That means what they're doing is working. Market participants will feel better about this rally we're seeing, and they'll put more money to work. The market is always forward looking. So if they think that inflation may have peaked, starting to come down, we saw a strong jobs number. All these things are pointing into the direction that we may see a soft landing. And, you know, for me, that's why I think the market is rallying and rallying out of consolidation that we've seen. So this is the report for the PPI, the producer price index. So this fell right here, fell. 0.5% from June, its first month over month decrease since April 2020. The expectations, the estimates were for an increase of 0.2%. That is a really big beat. That is very good, great PPI numbers. Unemployment numbers were also good. These numbers made the market go up just like we saw yesterday. So if we go into the charts here, I'm gonna show you how I trade this type of uh, situation. So what I'm trading is the Russell. This is the IWM, but I also wanna monitor the SPY. On the SPY, we have a clear breakout. Breaking out of the 420 range, that was our weekly level, we gapped over that. The strength continues today. Yesterday's volume on the SPY was also very nice. By very nice, I mean it was greater than the day before, showing more institutional money coming in. The rally seems like it's holding up. Into the close yesterday, the market held up really nicely. This morning, we saw the same thing. So the PPI comes out right here at 8.30 spikes up, algorithm spike to 1990, okay? And then sells back off, basically down to our key level, just about to the penny. So this is where I started getting long. Love a setup like this, something that comes down to a key support level. The economic data was great. The market is breaking out. There was no reason for me to be shorting uh, anything like this. I did the same thing yesterday. Everything was long. Yesterday, I ended up about 260 or so on the Russell. And this morning, we're sitting up 300 $300 trading this product long. And that's all I did. I'm not going to fight a trend like this. I know it's, you know, the RSI is overheated. We may see pullbacks, but these pullbacks going back about four weeks or so, you know, July was really nice. All the pullbacks saw buying. And, you know, that just showed that more money was coming back into equities. Now, when you get a good number like this on inflation, the treasury yields will come down. When the treasury yields come down, the equity market goes up. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Everything is lining up very nicely. Um, so that's all the thoughts that went into how I traded PPI today. And that's how and what led to my success making $300 here on vacation, okay? I hope these videos are um, you know, good for you guys. I know it's a lot of information, like I said in yesterday's video. You could go on to CNBC you know, read some of this stuff for yourself. You know, maybe it'll start to make more sense of why 
you know, the macro events really have a big uh, part of the overall market. So that's it, guys. Hit the thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care, guys.